Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. You can't see me, but I promise I'm here. This is your reading for Aquarius Sun, Rising, and Moon signs for the month of October. This is exclusively intuitive. I'm not pulling from the astrology charts yet. And the reason why is because every week I post astrological predictions and what my astro astrological interpretations and readings on my YouTube channel. So I didn't want to like repeat myself because I was going to be doing that regardless anyways. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm going to go ahead and invite you to do that. That way you can um, get gain the benefit of that. Okay? If you feel called to it. But I highly recommend you do that. And also I have a goal that I want to make when it comes to my subscriptions for the month of 2019. Now, Aquarius, this is for your sun, for Aquarius sun, Aquarius rising, and Aquarius moon, and all of the cards that I have pulled are here. I have not seen them. That being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Aquarius, what it is that I'm seeing for you is heal the ouch. Seagull, now is the time for deep emotional healing. Wow, here we go, right? The high priestess, discernment, what is this word? I've never seen this before. Prescience, prophecy, and vision. But this is also connecting me to alchemy and kind of what I do when I work with um, earth magic and earth um, herbs in order to create potions and concoctions for myself that are for the sole purpose of healing, especially through teas and tinctures. Yoga. Sense of humor. <laughs> Nature, oh my god, you have so much earth energy coming through. There's a lot of earth energy in these readings lately. Unconditional love, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances look like. You have more options than you realize. Independence, past life relationship, the hanged man, and the empress. Now give me a second because I feel like this message is really clear, but I also feel like there's something else that wants to come through for some reason i'm focused on this in this card yeah this is the main but for some reason i'm really hyper focused on this area right here and as i'm looking at this it's reminding me of halloween it's reminding me of darkness it's reminding me of shadow it's reminding me of the shadow sides this past life i just want to dive right into this 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 past life relationship card it's about relationships but for you guys Maybe that could be it, but I'm seeing you focusing on your shadow sides, and I'm seeing you looking at symbols. You're interpreting, you're studying, you're learning, you're looking at everything. If you're realizing, Aquarius, I'm feeling this so strong for you, you're seeing that there is a like significance and symbolism and meaning behind everything. I haven't even stepped into the healing part. Like, obviously, that's obvious, like, or that's obvious, but it's the darkness. It's this shadowness that we're not even, that most people are drawn to look at the partnership, but it's the darkness that is happening behind these two couples that is drawing me. And it's like, okay, yeah, sometimes when you enter into a relationship or you enter into this thing, you go on this journey, you do this, you embark on this next cycle in, within your life. And that's the external, but internally, you're the same. Um, like let's say you have these issues these plaguing issues that have been on your chest for quite some time or on your heart for quite some time and then you start a new journey you start a new venture and you're like okay this is a new me this is a new life this is a chance to start over yeah externally but internally you take with you all of your experiences all of the past all of the past your experiences from this life and the lives from the past before that the other thing that draws me to this card is the moth. The moth comes out at night and I'm seeing, especially for the month of October for you guys, with the hanged man, with nature, with the element of, or the energy of earth and the element of earth and working with plants, working with healing, yoga, even this, I don't see this, like some of you guys might be doing this at night, but really it's connecting to the, sh the, the darker sides within yourselves that you might be ignoring. So even with yoga, right, the purpose of yoga is to connect, use the physical body or use, the, use certain things as a tool, in this case the physical body, in order to gain deeper understanding and clarity for your life, who you are, your purpose, your destiny, and where it is that you're destined to go. And, and connection, like your connection to the divine. This is only a tool to help you to connect to the darker, like the shadow, like what you can't see. 
and that's what it is I'm seeing here. And when I'm seeing the card of independence and the hanged man here, an unconditional love, this is about you becoming free from the shadow side, not by running from it, not by hiding from it, not pretending like it's not there, not ignoring it and not seeing it, but by actual, actually seeing it. And when you see this darkness, and when you see the shadow sides, you are going to see, it's not there to hurt you any further because the hurt has already happened. It's there to heal you, and the way to heal it is by having a sense of humor, by having joy, by laughing at it, by you know going with the flow, releasing as you need to, and then going back into a space of life is not meant to be heavy. And when life becomes heavy, it's because you allow those past experiences to hang you up and keep you suspended. So yes, you know, all of us come into this life with trauma and add on to it by our own experiences that life gives us, but we're not supposed to become victims of it. And even in healing it, it's not all about the painful aspects of healing. Sometimes the, the healing is actually fun, like people who do yoga and they love it. Like I personally love to do yoga and I actually do enjoy it. And instead of looking at those shadow sides of yourself and judging it and feeling bad, you're actually able to look at it and look at your partner and see what they're like and the people who are around you that you love and that you're nurturing and looking at their shadow sides and the two, you guys laughing together as a whole and the healing that comes from that. Now give me just one second because my battery is about to die. Sorry about that guys. So the other thing that I wanna focus on is that is truly the definition of unconditional love. This is unconditional love for yourself what you are receiving and also what it is that you're giving to other people. This is when you see certain things, people, circumstances or events around you that are not always fun or light or you know easy to look at or easy to work with. Instead of you getting upset over it and instead of you judging it, you are actually seeing it and like laughing and enjoying it. So let's say you, and your ability to, to, to give that to others is a, an example, or not an example, but it's it shows also your ability, hopefully, to give that to yourself. And you also want to be able to give that to yourself. Just as much as you would accept someone, you see there, because I feel like with my um, Aquarius babes, like you guys are the first ones to be very non-judgmental of people. You're very accepting of people, flaws and all, for the most part. And so when you see someone, you say, well, it's fine, that's weird, but it's cool, and you can laugh about it. That's unconditional love. That's, I can see the good in you, I can see the shadow in you, and I'm not gonna judge it. I'm just gonna say that that's, it is what it is, and I will take it for that. Nothing more, nothing less, and I enjoy your presence, I enjoy your energy. So I see that, but I'm also seeing this not only with your relationships, but I also see it with certain circumstances that can come across as dark or things that you don't want to look at or you don't want to see, that that's something that I'm seeing here is you have more options than you realize. For me, when I'm seeing this, I think that you have different things that you need to see in front of you. And this is sides of yourself and then also sides within your friendships or sides within your partner that are starting to show themselves. And when you or sides within you know your job or the aspects of yourself that you want to, things that it is that you want to do and ways that you want to heal others or be of service to others or do your work or interests, there's different sides to things. And you are going to enter into a space where you accepting them is going to be very healing to yourself and also to others. And I think when, when I see the card independence, I feel as though being accepting of this, all of these flaws, all of the shadow, all of the, you know, just seeing it for good and for bad and not judging it, but acknowledging it, that is going to give, that is the ultimate sense of freedom. That is the ultimate sense of independence because you are no longer confined or restricted by the things that it is that you're trying to hide and conceal because you've already accepted them, you've already unconditionally loved them. So what is it that you, you're just so, you're just, this is who you are, this is your truth. This is, you know, I, I am who I am. And the same thing comes for your partnerships is that when you show that to other people, they are free to be all of who they are and it's not only healing for them, but it's healing for your relationship. Or maybe you guys do have to split ways, you have to part ways, but that's up for the Empress for you to decide. What is it you want to do? But there's no judgment there. 
I think that when you start seeing some, for some of you guys, you're going to start seeing the dark inside side of things and say, okay, maybe I don't want to be here. Maybe I'm going to release myself from being stuck in this situation. Maybe this is too dark. I'm not judging it, but I just see that I don't have a place within that. And that's the part of the high priestess where she's using her discernment. She's connecting with herself intuitively in order to see the almonds, see the signs, and then call the shots. And that is a part of her own healing, is to be from a, from a space of total release, total surrender, total independence. Like seagulls on the beach, they come and they go. They fly there, they fly there. They don't have a restriction, you know what I mean? There's nothing that restricts them or, or holds them back. I think one last thing that I want to say to you is to whatever you decide to do this month of October, in the dark, especially if you're working shadow work or if you're doing shadow magic or you're looking at the shadow sides of yourself, the dark inside of, sides of yourself, the things that some people don't want to share or don't want to see. Um, I think that it's very important that you do all of it from a soft space, from a gentle space. And that, you know, I don't know. I feel like things are going to reveal themselves. I think that it's like the moon. You know, something about seeing things from the soft light helps it helps you to see it better, helps you to feel it better. Sometimes when things are just fully blasted with a full sun, it's not as magical as with the, the, with the shadow, with the darkness and the quiet of things so that you can truly connect with your intuition, so you can truly connect with your council, meaning like your guides, your ancestors, your spirit guides, those who are trying to connect with you, giving you signs, showing you how to create, showing you how to work your magic working with nature, working in, with, with respect to nature. It's not judging. Nature isn't judging anyone or anything. It just is what it is. And that's it. So for Aquarius, some of you guys really are gonna be working with some candle magic, some, you know, the, your shadow sides, do some shadow healing. Others, I, it could be within your relationships where your relationships and your bonds are deepening to another level because you are, your partner is expressing who they are and they're not hiding any aspect of themselves back and neither are you. Some of you guys are actually going to be coming free from certain things that have been holding you back and restricting you and that's gonna create more abundance and blessing for you but it's all about discernment and connecting with your vision and your prophecy. Like, like looking at these signs and then listening to them, respecting them, hearing them and moving forward accordingly. And having a sense of humor with all of this because at the end of the day, life is short. You only live once, right? So you might as well and laugh at it instead of let, letting it all get you down. Life is not meant to be heavy all the time. And others, you really will be connecting with yoga again in order to connect and become more in tune with your guides, your ancestors, and also with yourself. Okay, Aquarius? So thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Um, I will see you hopefully in my next one. Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll see you I'll see you in the future.